Alright, so <clears throat> I haven't made a YouTube video in a while, and I guess it's uh, important to um, make YouTube videos every now and then because it's uh, something I enjoy doing, and um, you know, yeah, yeah, making. I, di I just want to provide for, for my audience, uh, the, the the small audience that I do have, and any newcomers, uh, some some form of content so that, you know, when they get here that they can see that I'm still relevant and, you know, I'm posting. Uh, so, and I was trying to think of something to post and I don't know, I guess, I don't know if my skill set's just not uh, diverse enough and I, or I can't think of anything. Um, or, or what it what or what it is <laughs> but it, I have a little bit of hard time coming up with things to post about so uh, but I was working on this book um, yesterday and I had to make like this page where there was like some bubbles and uh, that that's basically what I'm gonna be doing here is just showing you how I made th these bubbles and um, so that if you needed to make some kind of bubbles for yourself you can um, you can uh, do so if 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 you need some bubbles so let's uh let's get to that um but if you don't need bubbles then maybe maybe this isn't the best video for you to watch right now or maybe you'll learn something along the way who who knows okay so let's just uh start with a uh little low saturated uh fairly bright uh color here we'll make it something different than than what was on the other page we'll go with a, a blue of some sort all right, so we got a background color, and I'm just gonna go over here and grab a circular shape. Um, I'm using the, the shape tool and over the uh, over the, the marquee tool because with shapes um, they're just a little bit more flexible because they're they're actual I guess they're vector um, so that you can scale them and whatnot, but. It probably doesn't really matter because we're gonna be digitally painting over top of them, which is you know, rastered ink, I guess. I don't know what it is. All right, let's let's uh, let's get to that. I'm gonna make the uh, the shape. Right now, it's just, it's uh, the same color as my background. So let's change that to <clears throat> a darker, maybe a little bit more saturated color uh, than what our background is. And then I'm just gonna hit Alt Backspace to fill that shape. All right, so now that we got our circle, we're going to uh, create a new layer and we are going to um, clip that to the, the the bottom layer of the shape so that now we can start drawing within here um, and um, get it look more bubbly all right so let's do that and I got just one of these chalky looking uh, brushes but um, that's just the kind of texture that I like and that that texture will look like Looks similar to that. It's kind of rough, but if you want more of a you know what I'm not I'm gonna just skip the 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 uh, the, uh, the, 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 the the charcoal kind of texture we're, Let's go with the soft brush so that we're all on the same uh, playing field here. We'll do let's just cr grab our hard round and I said soft, but let's let's go about I don't care. Forty percent. We can change that later if we need to. All right. So let's. Uh, the first thing that I do to create the bubble is I I drop the background color and then I start filling in the the middle part. Now this is all on that clipping layer, so it's not going to go outside. I mean, if if I had a different color, you can see that it's being all contained in this circle. So that's good. That's what we want. All right. So now. Um, and now we just start kind of blending around the edges. All right, so we got uh, the middle part there with our nice background color filled in. Now we're gonna eye drop this uh, in between color. And before we start drawing on here, we're gonna uh, go up here and make sure that our uh, our, our pressure sensitivity is uh, affecting our opacity. So that uh, the harder I press, the more opaque it'll be, and the lighter I press, the, the less opaque it'll be so uh, we want to make sure that that's checked so that yeah we're taking advantage of our stylus here all right so now we're gonna just lightly brush um, around here and so you know create a blend here and since we have a somewhat of a soft brush uh, somewhere in between there it's gonna be a little bit easier to 
to blend um, than it would be with maybe a hard brush. Um, but anyways, if you're using a charcoal brush, you can get kind of a charcoal-y effect as well, like, like on the other page, but yeah. All right, so basically this is, this is blending 101 right here as far as digital painting. And, and blending goes um, you you click one of the uh, the brighter colors okay so I'm just clicking right here on the brighter color I'm gonna lightly stroke it into that that darker area and you see I'm starting to get a newer color uh, or a newer a new value um, so I want to take advantage of that and, and grab that and then try to find the in between between that this color and this color and I mean values but yeah so, so we're just blending and we're gonna go through here and blend this and let's change the hardness down a little bit and I find using a bigger brush can uh, make it a little bit more seamless especially with a, with a bubble um, I mean, there's all t different types of uh, stylized bubbles out there. This this is really just my impression of of a bubble, but I like to keep the edges uh, dark. And I can I can uh, tone those down just a bit. Um, All right, so now um, let's deal with something real quick with our background. Let's uh, let's add a, a different color. Let's add a, uh, a somewhat of a of a dark yellow, to maybe to the orange a bit, um, and we'll I don't know. We'll just play with it. We'll grab our gradient tool with the G, um, <clears throat> and then we're gonna just um, go up here. Make sure your settings are. Uh, with the yellow and then it g goes into a transparency so it's the second one here so it's not going into white it's going into a transparency um, and then we're just gonna drag that out a bit like that it's kind of creating a, a, a light source um, and then let's put soft light yeah soft light doesn't looks looks fairly well actually I like it um, maybe just duplicate a few more so we can get a little bit more intense. Let's change one of these to overlay to bring back a little bit more of the color. Maybe change two of them to overlay. And this, I'm just playing around here. Uh, you can use your own methods to create this kind of, uh, this light source here in the background. That looks good. I'm going to blend, or I'm going to merge all that to the background. And now, so we got this uh, light source, so let's uh, put our, um, let's create a new layer, new clipping, clipping mask to that main circle that we got. And now we're going to uh, kind of take that light as well, um, and I'm going to make it a little bit more saturated so it stands out a little bit more. And I'm, that might work, so let's make sure that we're on the right layer. And then we're going to do one of these edges here so that um, it's like... You know receiving that light um, and then that's that's our brighter side of the bubble um, their bubbles are weird I haven't done much studies on bubbles so <laughs> bubbles are fairly transparent so that when the I this is stuff that I'm just analyzing I don't know if they really work this way but since they're transparent the, the lights gonna go and like it's gonna reflect on both sides instead of just this side so I'm gonna put my light source over here as well let me grab the right color there we go you know call it you know bounce light or you know it's going through it regardless it, it looks like it works um, and then we can even grab a wider one and actually have our, um, our hot spot. 
Is that what it's called? Crap. I don't know. I forgot. And there we go. Does that... Let me look at this and see. See, that one looks a little bit more dynamic. Maybe it's just the charcoal brush. Um, I, I don't know. There's something about the, the, the textures in the charcoal brushes I, I, I find more appealing. And maybe that's all that's going on here. Um, we could put another hot spot right here as well. And then we can try to blend that a little bit better. I think it was my color choices as well. I really liked, oh, I know what I did. I also did an overlay layer with the color. An overlay just really helps add a punch to, to your color. And I might even did a color dodge, but I, I don't think I, I don't know if I did. So you can see, I can add a little bit more color to it that way. And you can see the difference of what normal versus overlay does and maybe that's a little too strong so I can pull that back with the opacity and maybe even erase some of it I'll hit control U and see if we can get a better uh, hue going on here that's kind of neat. Bubbles have like that rainbow effect in there and that's kind of adding a little bit more of that variety in there. It's almost got like this um, weird like pushed in effect like it's uh, concaved. Like uh, yeah it's weird. So let's go back and actually edit it a bit and I think what it really is going on here is the background isn't bleeding through as much as it should be so right here around the edges and is there some weird effect going on yeah turn these off and try to um, make it a little bit more transparent there um, maybe even grab some of this color since we changed our background I think uh, I think that looks a little bit more bubbly so let's add our effects uh, back in yeah yeah I think that works a little bit more so with what we had before um, we just kind of toned it down a bit and we kind of brought it back a little bit more uh, blended a bit better with the background um, bringing in some of those uh, that, that light source into the, the background uh, made the edges a little bit less thick and softer um, and that that really did give off a uh, much more bubbly effect and then add in uh, those effects back over on top the uh, the light source and the uh, the little hot spots there the highlights of the uh, of uh, the light source coming in all right so let's Duplicate it and and just so that it makes it a smaller file size, um, I like to duplicate it, convert it over to a smart object. It's just a little bit easier to maintain. And these are at uh, my original group was at seventy five percent. So I'm already getting that uh, transparency little overlay. I'm going to send this one back, all the way back. And then I'm going to lower its opacity since it's it's further in the back. And there's more uh, atmospheric perspective going on. So it's going to be a little bit lighter. Maybe just uh, hitting Control-L and bringing the, the levels down a bit. 
or bringing, you know what I mean. All right, pulling back on that. Maybe he control you. Add a little bit of brightness that way. That looks a little bit better than just that color. Adds, yeah, a little bit more depth to it. I think, anyways. All right, there you guys go. There's uh, how do you make bubbles. I hope that helps uh, with uh, you making bubbles. If if that's something that you wanted to do, or just a little bit of a knowledge on um, digital painting in general and using clipping mask and the adjustments or whatever else we did through the process. Um, hopefully, it wasn't too babbly. If it was, uh, I apologize. It's just just my style. But no, I guess. I guess there's always room for self-improvement and I can work on my instructing skills a little bit more. But I hope you liked the video uh, and thanks. Thanks for watching.